Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The previous video we discussed about how to uh, create a VPC manually, and we have created the VPC and we have created the subbrands and uh, route tables and internet gateway, NAT gateway uh, through manually in console AWS console. This video I want to create VPC by using Terraform. So mainly uh, i don't want to go with the uh, resource level i want to go with the modules the my intention is i am created one module so what are the resource which would require uh, to create the module i'm going to keep all my code into the github by i'm going to call locally so create the vpc first understand the what is terraform module so terraform module is nothing but a collection of resources we are going to keep in one folder that is called terraform module so you can keep it anywhere it doesn't matter but the obviously the recommended way to keep all your terraform code or any code would be github or gitlab or bitbucket anything would be fine so uh, if you look at the vpc modules which i would be create for the vpc uh, vpc.tf and uh, subnet.tf and route table.tf and uh, internet gateway let's open the vpc.tf you can see this is the uh, basic syntax to create the vpc so if you can if you observe my code i'm not saying any hard code value here my module so i'm declaring everything as a variable okay even if you go to the subnet.tf subnet.tf also I'm going to similar way, but I'm not going so saying any hard code value. My intention is I want to create a VPC and two availability zone. Each availability zone, I'm going to hold two subnets. One would be the private subnet and one would be the public subnet. So in future, if I want to go with one more availability zone, so I can happily by using same code, I can go ahead and spin up the one create one more subnet so that's the way i have prepared the code so i have built the code so you can use the code we can launch a n number of vpcs by using the this vpc module so if you if you object you can see this is the public subnet creation this is the private subnet so if you can see i'm using function element function uh, based on the uh, split means so based on the value which i'm going to declare public subnet is going to pick up the randomly so based on the count and index value okay so if we go back here i'm using route table if you go back and see i'm creating two route tables uh, one is public route table and the other one is private route table if and i am trying to associate the uh, public subnet with the public route table and again associating with the private subnet with the private route tables okay if we go back and final one, you can see Internet Gateway. So I'm creating Internet Gateway. I'm attaching to the specific uh, VPC. Okay. So let's go back to uh, my local server here. So if you can see, this is the VPC.tf, which I'm using. If you can see, this is my source code uh, where I'm using as my GitHub code. If you go back into the code, you can take the SH, copy this one, keep into the here. So if you observe, you can see I'm declaring all the variables which I declare my GitHub, my module. So this is the variable.tf file. If you can see, this is the variables which I declared. I'm go I'm declaring all my variables input value, my locally, my mission. Okay. Why I'm declaring? So based on the uh, environment which I'm going to declare, I'm using as a product sales and environment with the dev. So and the VPC CI header which I'm going to take contentancy and public subnet and private subnet. So if I take this one, let's understand how what is this one exactly. So if we go back and see, this is a, vis a subnet calculator, visual sub uh, subnet calculator. Here, this is the value which I'm using. I'm using the slash 23. So if I, the subnet range, it will start with this one, 10.0.0. This one, we don't want to bother about the, uh, where you are working in our nation. The network team is going to provide this range, but you need to understand what is this uh, subnet mask. Based on the subnet mask, we are going to launch n number of servers. You need to understand when you're trying to migrate, when you create an application, you need to understand how many servers you are going to launch. And now I'm going, coming, going forward another three, three years of the timeline. So, so if you look at, uh, let me, uh, I just uh, split into the value. So by default, it will come up with, uh, sorry, if I go back again, let me reset again. 
So if I use this range, we are going to get these many hosts. So which means we are going to launch find a 10 servers. Now I don't want to let me split into the multiple subnets. So if I split into the value 10.0 slash 24 and 1 dot 0 slash 24, which means we are going to get two 254 servers so each available to zone. But my my requirement is I want to create it. each available to zone would be required two subnets. One is with public, another one. Let me split to this value. If I use these two values, uh, I can create this would be the, my public subnet and this would be the my private subnet so which means i'm going to create uh, uh, i'm eligible to create uh, 126 ips within the specific uh, subnet range so let me spread this into again so if you can see this is the uh, public subnet this is the private one so so i can pick up these i can take these two values for the Availability zone 2A and these two values availability zone 2B. So one is public and other one is private. The similar one is public and other one public. So it means each availability zone, I can create 126 servers specific availability zone. If you can see these subnet address and network mask and the range of the address means, which means when you create a server, it's going to start with this value and it's going to end up with until 127. So if you can see usable IPs, so it will start with the uh, 10.0.1, it will going to end with uh, 10.0.0126 within the specific availability zone, sorry, within the specific availability subnet. Okay, the same way other subnets as well. So let me go ahead and create the VPC. So, so I'm using as a module, I can keep it at understanding purpose. I'm keeping as a VPC dev and my source code, uh, my GitHub code, I'm declaring well. So I'm using Terraform uh, 12, let me run the Terraform minute. So you can see required plugins is download. You can see the, uh, this specific module also. So it's going to download. So so let me run the terraform apply so at the moment yeah, let me at the moment you can observe we don't have any vpcs available only i'm holding default vpc when you create an account each of each region we are going to get one default vpc that is the one which i'm having at the moment so this is the one vpc let me go ahead and so we when you run the terraform missing argument required region is required but not set what does it mean oh sorry so here i am declaring my alway product let me rename this one so terraform always recognize dot tf it will not going to recognize anything so here i am using my this file i am using as my provided plus so let me run the terraform in it again now if i run the um, Terraform apply. Let me call it first. I'll create VPC, then after that, I will create a VPC. Then you can understand. So, this is the VPC. Let me run the Terraform apply iPhone target. So, I'm going to call it this specific module target module. This is the module name vpc.dev. So, you can keep it any name, doesn't matter. So, when I say yes, if you can see, it's going to launch. Uh, VPC and uh, public subnet and uh, public subnet two subnets I want one is for public this is the private subnet and this would be the private subnet and specific route tables so route table association and the route table and internet gateway okay let me say yes now we can see VPC creation successfully completed let me go back and see the now we can see VPC creation successfully completed. Now if we have so we have done the VPC creation successfully. Now let me create one more VPC by using the same code, same module. So I have one more VPC.tf available my locally. So this time I'm creating, we created earlier, we, we created dev VPC. Now I'm going to with the prod VPC. So if we, if we have this is the module which I'm using VPC prod, but again, I'm using the same source code, my VPC module, okay? So product name, this time I'm going with the slash 24, my uh, CADR range. So let me run, initialize the Terraform minute. Why? Because we have created a new .tf file. So I have to initialize. So let me run the Terraform. So this time I'm calling as a VPC prod. This is my module name. So let me use this one. If you can see, these are all the resources going to create. So let me say yes. 
so now this you can see we basically successfully complete let me go back to console now we can see uh prod vpc also successfully completed i hope you guys understand how we need to create the same vpc uh, by using same module multiple vpc so this is the vpc creation so the same uh, the same module we can launch n number of servers by the same model we can launch n number of sorry n number of uh, vpcs so in, in different regions or different network uh, different environments so now we have done the vpc create successful let me go ahead and create the vpc sorry let me go ahead and create a ec2 server so this time i have a different module which i am to create the uh, ec2 environment let me go back and see my code uh, this time i am using as ec2 uh, so is yeah this is my ec2 module so this is the module which i am using so i am uh, the same way how we create the vpc i have created one more module which we can spin up the ec2 in ec2 servers so i am using few services so uh, ec.tf so ec2 in the inside ec2.tf i am not specifying any value hard code value everything i am declaring as a variable so how we have done the module so any module any module if you want to create uh, we have we are going to hold my source my source code uh, everything would be variable so here i am using a different arguments ami and instance type and key name and subnet and uh, vpc okay so and i am using iam dot create creating profile attaching profile to the uh, ec2 role and again profile attaching to the cesic ec2 instance so again security group tf since security group tf you can see that i am using two ingress one would be the 22 port which would be required for ssh the other one is 80 for the uh, web server and egress is zero okay so let me go back and variable this is the variable uh, what are the variables which i declare my uh, resources i am going to create one, i create one variable dot file so inside i am declaring as a variable okay so, so that's all uh, let me go back and create the uh, now let me go ahead and create the ec2 server so let me open ec.tf if you can see uh, ami i am using this one but the only thing which i want to change here so let me take it out environment i will i will keep it as a uh, dev environment uh, so let me take it out the first thing let me update the vpc so this is the dev environment let me go back and take the dev vpc so this is the dev so let me call let me keep it my locally and take the subnets as well so we need to create which subnet we want to create so let me go back and go to the subnets again so keep it uh, so this is my vpc and uh, take one public one you can keep it anything doesn't matter so take this one so we have filled all the details i'm fill the ami details and ec2 class t2 micro and my key pair and my subnet where we want to create and product the environment and vpc so let me save so let me save it now run the terraform uh, terraform apply hyphen target module dot take it as a ec2 dev now let's go back to the ec2 console now we can see one test code dev ec2 is creating if it will take few minutes now we can see yeah now we can see uh, up and running if you go back and see this is still creating so yeah this is the small uh, the profile name is already created that's not an issue if if you so i have already created earlier so let me change it i am going to change it to keep it as a uh, dev2 so which means it's not good the profile already i am holding so it doesn't required
this time i am use as a div to so the same name which i am already having so i forgot to terminate the previous i forgot to delete the my old profile which i am having the div so it will yeah so that's the solve for this demo so i'm going to keep uh, uh, module details into my description so if you guys i hope this uh, video is helpful for us helpful for you that's all for this demo thank you